get us. You did, sir. Dinner is served, Mr. Kessler. Thank you. Good evening, my dear. You're more beautiful than ever this evening. Mrs. Kessler first, Evans. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Dad taking it? All right, Miss Virginia. They're having dinner. I'll answer it. Hello, Virginia. I told you not to come here this evening, Ralph. Why? Didn't you want to see me? Well, it, it isn't that I didn't want to see you. You're certainly acting strange, darling. What's all the mystery about? Let's go into the library. You see, we're all good. Oh, Ralph! After dinner, we are taking a long walk. I'd like to speak to you, Ralph. What's come over your father, Virginia? Is that why you didn't want me here tonight? Yes. It stopped me cold. I'm sorry if I accidentally stumbled on something you didn't want me to know. Well, it must seem weird to someone who's never seen it before. It happens once a year. You always appeared perfectly rational to me. Well, there's something I must tell you. It's about my mother. I don't understand. Well, it happened several years ago. My father and mother were apparently as happy as two people could be. He worshipped her. Another man? The usual best friend. It almost broke my father's heart. He seems reconciled, but he never forgets their wedding anniversary and celebrates it that way. Guess he isn't the only one who resorts to make-believe, but it does give one an uncanny feeling. Well, it doesn't frighten me anymore. Now that you know. I love you. You wanted your coat, Miss Kessler. Oh, oh yes, thank you. I was going to take a drive. It's such a beautiful night. Come along? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 